Today I want to talk about a sometimes overlooked series of synthesizers built into Logic called the EV series. The EV series is basically a series of synthesizers built into Logic that are modeled after real-life keyboards and vintage synthesizers. And we're going to start with the EVP88. So this is the EVP88 with its lovely vinyl top. Ah, the 70s. So this is modeled after electric pianos that were developed in the 60s and 70s. And uh, it's a really cool synth. Um, I call it a synth and not a sampler because it's not using samples to create the sounds. All of the EV series are actually using physical modeling. So it's an algorithm programmed into the computer for synthesis that allows you to get aspects of the instrument that you can't get when you just use samples. So on the EVP88, this is our front panel interface. And down at the bottom, we have some EQ, basic treble EQ. You can make it brighter or not so bright. Add a little bass. So that's nice. Now next to that, we have drive. This is basically kind of like distortion. You can really kind of make it bitey and gritty down below. And a pop. <laughs> a pop. Up top. I'll turn the drive down for now. You have a choice of dark tone. It's kind of a warm, fuzzy tone. Or bright, which is a little bit more clear. All right, turn my gain back down here. And let's get over to the phaser. So the phaser is a cool effect. Basically what's happening is it's making a copy of the sound that's coming out of the EVP88, and that copy is being uh, put out of phase with the original sound. And this is what it kind of sounds like. To turn on the phaser, you just take the rate knob and pull it up past the off area here. When you add color to it, it's basically adding intensity to it. And with stereo phase, you get this really nice stereo phasing effect. So that's pretty cool. Next to the phaser, I'm going to turn that off for now. Next to the phaser section, we have the tremolo section. Now, tremolo has to do with amplitude. Basically, it's going to be changing the amplitude over time. Um, this is usually achieved with an LFO. So if we, the rate here, to get it, to get the tremolo to actually activate, instead of using rate like we did on the phaser, we're going to use the intensity knob. So off, our sound is pretty straight up. Now I'm going to add intensity. And you'll hear that it's actually making the sound oscillate between the right and the left speaker or headphone. Your stereo phase is going to be how intensely it's being spread out between the left and right headphone. That's pretty cool too. So I'm going to take the intensity down and move over to chorus. Now what chorusing is doing is it's making a copy of the sound and it's placing it out of tune with itself. That's the difference between your chorus and your phaser. Generally it has kind of a watery effect. When you start adding these effects together, you can get a nice rich tone. Ah, it takes you right back to the 70s. <laughs> 